Is your life flowing smoothly? People form human relationships with a variety of individuals throughout their lives. It's not always the case that there are only good people in human relationships. Let's explore 10 life wisdoms from Mosey that can change lives, which anyone can do but everyone finds difficult to uphold. First, let go of your thoughts that you are unconditionally right. What I know is unconditionally correct, and what I say cannot be unconditionally right. What I know cannot be unconditionally correct, and what I say cannot necessarily be right. Never be convinced that you know everything. You can only truly accept others when you have an open mind. If you're too self-absorbed, you won't have room to understand others. Throw away your arrogance and admit your own lack. Arrogance is like an unpleasant odor that surrounds a person. Instead of criticizing or condescending to other people because their opinions differ, you should reflect on yourself one more time. Only then can you clear your mind and become more mature. Second, don't trample on the other person's self respect. Wise people steer clear of pointless arguments that trample on others' self respect. Even if the other person says something nonsense, never trample on that person's self respect. A crucial aspect of human relationships is the importance of building friendships, but it's even more crucial to avoid making enemies. Even if you have much to express, show some level of respect to the other person. A victory achieved by tarnishing someone else's dignity often results in earning their resentment and facing a high likelihood of retaliation from that person. When arguing with someone, you need to consider the following two things. One is victory achieved by tarnishing the dignity of the opponent in an argument, and the other is gaining goodwill from the opponent. These two things can never be obtained at the same time. Even if you win an argument, all that remains is the fact that you knew more and argued more logically than your opponent, winning doesn't get you anything. However, if you respect your opponent and preserve their dignity, they may reflect on their own mistakes and could become your ally. Even if that doesn't happen, they won't hold a grudge against you, so you have nothing to worry about. Third, cherish the good people around you. Don't take closeness with them for granted you should consider it valuable. A great king may have built a kingdom, but if the king does not respect the people of that kingdom, the kingdom will eventually be lost. If he knows a wise person but does not hire him, he will be called a lazy monarch. You should really care about your people and make sure to give them credit. If you only look out for your own interests and act according to those interests, you will incur resentment from many people there is nothing as pointless as earning others' resentment. If you disregard the interests of others and only pursue your own, you will surely face backlash. And if you continue to behave like that for a long time, eventually that resentment will become an indelible memory deep in their hearts. If you prioritize your own interests, you cannot win over the hearts of others. If you have made a profit, you need to be considerate of giving the benefit to those around you and you should listen to their advice. By setting aside your arrogance and emptying your mind to learn from others, you will discover many things we do not know. Fourth, don't boast no matter how talented you are. Many people tend to flaunt any slight superiority they have over others. But such behavior should be avoided. When your talent becomes known, people around you tend to react in two main ways. There are those who want to use your talent and those who feel jealous of it. The first group may praise and acknowledge your talent outwardly, but behind the scenes they are thinking about how to use your talent and use your talent to their own benefit. The second group asks you for a favor and then criticizes you and accuses you of being selfish if you don't do the favor. They also dismiss or criticize your talents as insignificant and constantly alienate you. Therefore, it's important not to flaunt your talent recklessly. It seems to us that there are only a few wise people in the world. Looking around, truly wise people are rare. This is because wise people don't boast about their talents carelessly, which sets them apart. 
Therefore, if you have a talent that is even slightly better than others, just quietly utilize it. Fifth, be careful when forming relationships with other people. Making enemies in human relationships is not advisable. You should be especially careful when forming relationships with small-minded people. Even if you are hated by noble man, there is no need to be hated by small-minded people. You should avoid small-minded people but do not become enemies with them. A noble man must know how to deal with and avoid small-minded people, even if he does not form relationships with them. When forming relationships with someone, only observe their personality and abilities and do not consider their background. Even among people with humble backgrounds, there are many people who have both ability and good character. Therefore, judging a person based on their background is a behavior that must be abandoned. People who grow up in wealthy environments often benefit from the start thanks to it. Conversely, even talented people with both ability and knowledge may find themselves in difficult situations before they cut a conspicuous figure due to their background. However, poverty or low background is not a standard for judging a person's ability. If you judge people based on their background, no matter how talented they may be, they may end up being seen as incompetent. Don't get things wrong by judging people based on external conditions. Never miss out on a really good person. Sixth, discern between wise people and those who mimic them. In this world, there are wise people and foolish people who try to imitate them. A wise person uses his cleverness only when necessary. Wise people and people who pretend to be wise may look similar on the outside, but they are fundamentally very different. Also, he uses his talents selectively depending on the time and place, and never reveals them to those who are foolish and jealous of others. On the other hand, foolish people consider slandering and disparaging others as their talent and often utilize it. They try to show themselves as competent, but at some point in time, they fall into the trap they set themselves. In fact, cleverness is one of the precious assets that cannot be exchanged for anything. A wise person develops every day because he adapts to different situations when dealing with people. Seventh, whatever happens, don't be conceited. There is the most important attitude in life to live well and have good people around you. It is to open your mind with a humble attitude. Be confident in yourself but never arrogant, remain humble, and be willing to accept criticism from others. Also, Correct your mistakes, improve them right away, and imitate the strengths of others with an open mind. Only then can you further enhance your strengths and attract good people around you. However, it is a difficult virtue to put this humble attitude into practice. Just as a big river is formed by not shying away from small streams, a humble attitude is the most important part of life. Eighth. Pay attention even to the words of those less capable than you. A noble man does not listen only to those who speak well, but also to those who are not good at speaking. People who ignore people who are not good at speaking have no humility and are like throwing away precious opportunities for their development. Therefore, listen more and talk less. You should listen to as many teachings as possible. And when you speak, only talk about things you have personally experienced and are sure of, avoiding anything even slightly doubtful. This way, you'll face less criticism. A wise person should say what he has experienced, not what he heard. Ninth, if someone points out your flaws, correct them right away. Trees that are well pruned and supported with supports grow well, but trees that are left alone grow as they are. The same goes for people. People who listen to people pointing out their flaws and correct them will improve, but people who do not correct their flaws, rather get angry and criticize them never can improve. If you are around people like this, you should avoid them. Even if he is a noble man, he is bound to make mistakes as he is a human being. Flaws are visible to everyone, but a noble person immediately corrects them. 
If you are not strong in your will, you cannot master it, and if you do not have faith in your words, you cannot produce results. If you only listen to good words and are choosy to make friends, it will be difficult to find truly good friends. If you're not well-rounded, lacking in judgment of right and wrong, it's hard to get along with others. Without a solid foundation, the outcome becomes precarious. If you don't hone your exceptional talent, you'll become lazy, and when the upper water is muddy, the lower water cannot be clear, so faithless behavior will tarnish your reputation. If you talk too much and act lazily, no one will listen even if you make excuses. Wisdom is speaking from the heart but not repeating words. Tenth. Don't feel flattered when you receive praise. If you take a look at wise people, surprisingly, there are not many people around them. They either focus on their own work or only have a few people around them, and they never form many human relationships. The reason is that wise people never have flatterers by their side. This is because they know better than anyone else that compliments that make people feel good ultimately have a negative impact on their improvement. Many people know that human relationships are important and tend to avoid incurring the wrath of others. That's why, rather than pointing out other people's flaws, they just try to make others feel good by putting them in good words. And they suffer more from being ostracized in relationships than from losing money. But keep this in mind. Turning a blind eye to a friend's obvious flaws just to maintain a fleeting reputation is failing in your duty as a friend. Take a look around you now. If there is someone who usually rebukes and scolds you with a sincere heart, he is a teacher in life and a true friend. Don't make the mistake of vainly missing out on a true friend who will become your lifelong teacher just because a brief scolding offends you. A true friend does not shy away from frankness, is truthful in speech and action, and does not prioritize knowledge. However, a harmful friend is a person who is vain, empty inside, dark-hearted, and talkative. But there is something to learn from any friend. When you walk down the street with three people, one of them is always your teacher. If that person says or does something good, you should learn from it, and if that person says or does something wrong, you should try not to be like that. I hope Mosey insights on human relationships have been helpful in your life.